Good day learners, in today's video, we are going to be looking at how you can insert a drop down list in Excel. So for this, I'm just going to click in cell E2. And I'm going to show you where we go to first, and then we'll go and do an example. Right, so let me just zoom in a little bit more, maybe go to D2, we go up to data, we then go over to data tools and we're looking for data validation. We click on that little down arrow and we select data validation again. Now, when this dialog box comes up, what we want to do is to go to allow and we want to choose list. Okay, so there it sells. So there it says ignore blank and in cell drop down. And then at the bottom it says source. So this is basically referring to the cells where the options that you want in there are. So let's go and do one. Let's create a few options. Let's go with John. Let's go Smith. Let's go Riley. Let's go Colin. And those are going to be our options. So we're going to go back to D2, go up to data, over to data tools, data validation, data validation. Under allow, we're going to go list. And our source, we're going to click in there, and we're just going to highlight that range and click OK. So now there's nothing in there, but there's a little arrow that pops up, and I can click on that and select any one of those options. So now I'm going to go to D4, and I want to do something a little bit different, but still doing the same thing. <laughs> so I'm going to go to data. I'm going to go over to data validation, data validation again. This time I'm going to still allow a list. But I'm going to take the tick out of ignore blank so we can see what happens. Click in source, select my options, and I'm going to click OK. Folks, and there you go. That's how easy it is to create a drop down list in Excel.